We're sitting here with Roxanne St. Clair, whose newest book is Barefoot in the Sand. And when does it come out? April 24th. Okay, so it's coming right Very up. Very soon. Okay. So, um, and this one doesn't have a hur hurricane theme, does it? Or It does have a it hurricane does. Okay. This one opens with a hurricane. Okay, it so you love those hurricanes. Hurricane. I do love those hurricanes. <laughs> I was um, living in Miami and when Hurricane Andrew swept through and took my house with it. And it was a traumatic experience, but it certainly stayed with me. And I have had multiple books with hurricanes, either as part of the story or central to the story. Barefoot in the Sand. Um, can I show the book? Have yes, book, please. please. <laughs> um, Barefoot in the the sand opens with a hurricane and with a single mother who stays uh, in a bathtub with a mattress over her head while her house falls around apart around her and I actually had friends who spent the night of Hurricane Andrew like that so it's uh, I, I, knew, I know how it feels to wake up the next morning and walk around and look at the rubble and say wow I have to start over completely so that was really the incident that launches Lacey's story in Barefoot in the Sand. Mm -hmm. that, that's that's pretty uh huge that's it's a life huge changer. event it's I mean, a life changer absolutely, start absolutely. Off with it. you have instant sympathy for the character that yeah, way too yeah i think so yeah. I, I remember exactly how it felt and, and you do what happens in that situation almost instantly is that you realize the only thing that really matters are the people so you oh, you right. realize that it might be your wedding gifts or your pieces of your life or you know your favorite pair of shoes or whatever they're yeah. gone. Uh -huh. uh, in this case, with a teenage girl wailing about losing her wee, but it's you realize very very quickly two things. One is that nothing really matters except the people, and two is Mother Nature hands you a fresh start. You take it, mm -hmm. and that's what that's what launches this story. Great. So you've spent the past year in a bit of a transition between your. Sus romantic suspense, YA, contemporary, you want to talk a little bit about that? I have. I have spent most of my career writing romantic suspense, which I love and, and fully intend to continue. Um, <laughs> but I took a little departure, a so little little break from my creative muse, and I've written, um, a, a started the Barefoot Bay series, which is a contemporary small town ro romance series. And I've also written a young adult called Don't You Wish that's coming out in July and uh, contracted to do another young adult. And both of these really um, were near and dear to me. I'd been playing with a proposal for a contemporary romance series for a long time. And when I finished um, the last book in my Guardian Angelino series, maybe not the last book, but the last <laughs> book in that contract, I really wanted to try my hand at this very popular subgenre of contemporary romance and my publisher agreed and uh, gave me a chance to write this series. I've also been a lifelong YA reader. It's a comfort read for me. Mm -hmm. I love, love, love YA and never really thought I had a voice for it until I realized that my life was full of teenagers. So <laughs> I have teenage children and their friends are over and, and I related well to them and I understood their world, especially having a teenage daughter, really gives you sort of an insight into the teenage <laughs> mind, which is Not a scary place. <laughs> Exactly. And uh, that's, that book was sort of inspired also by a real life event, inspired by a question my daughter asked me one day. And I thought, that's, that's a book. It's a book mm -hmm. idea. And I kind of rolled with it and, it and it turned out it is a book idea. And it's been optioned for film. So <gasps> Yay. very exciting. Very, okay, very so excited. So you uh, cast in it? Well, it's being read by Selena Gomez, so... Um, That's pretty cool. Who knows? You know, yeah. these certain things are completely out of our hands, so right. that one I have no, no say on at this point. Mm -hmm. The screenplay is done, and I had an opportunity to consult with the, with the screenwriter and give give some input, and even change the book a little bit so that it mirrored the screenplay, oh, which is great. nice, because everything oh. was done so early. Mm -hmm. So if it does ever become a movie, God willing, mm -hmm. um, I think the book and the movie should be close. Um, if it doesn't, just having something optioned for film has been a great honor and a fun, fun ride. Yeah, it does sound like fun. Yeah, it's, it's great. great fun. So you mentioned er, um, something about uh, having a mentally challenged main character in a, in a I book? I do. For my second young adult, um, I think I, I, I have sold a concept. I haven't written the book yet, um, tentatively titled My Cousin Daisy. And it's it's another departure. This One of the main characters is going to be a mentally handicapped character and sort of how does she fit in with the teen world and how does she affect the heroine of the book, who's her cousin. Mm -hmm. um, I just thought it was something I hadn't seen explored too mm -hmm. much in right. young adult, and I thought it had a lot of emotional impact 
impact for me for personal reasons. And um, I can't get through the synopsis without crying. So I'm yeah. hoping that I can you know, get through the book without crying. I think that's going to be a good one. I don't but think that's, that's going to happen. Yeah. You're going to cry a lot. I do. <laughs> I've been writing a lot of books that make me cry. Uh, Barefoot in the Rain, which is the, the, the second book uh-huh. in the Barefoot Bay series. I've just finished the, the, the manuscript. And I joke that I should give out Kleenex instead of bookmarks because <laughs> for some reason it's uh-huh. a weeper. I don't know what, what's yeah. going on. Maybe it's the economy. Maybe it's the world. Maybe it's yeah. just me personally. But I'm teary eyed. Is, is your nest getting empty? Or yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think you're that might be it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes, there's a little empty nest happening. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So, is there anything else you want to tell us about Barefoot in the Sand? Or? Oh, just that it's a wonderful book. Of course it is. <laughs> and, well, done. Um, well, it's one, something I've never tried before, and that's uh, the older heroine and younger hero. Ooh. So, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Not a huge age difference, mm-hmm. you know, about seven years. But um, I had never written that storyline in almost, I guess, 30 books I have now. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I really, I really enjoyed it. Clay, the uh, architect who comes to the, um, mm-hmm. to Barefoot. Barefoot Bay to help Lacey rebuild her life is just sexy as sin and very, very talented (laughs) and has big ideas. Mm -hmm. And this is a woman who is scared by big ideas. She's an excuse maker, but Mm -hmm. she, this hurricane has wiped away all reasons for excuses. Mm -hmm. And so she has, and he's not just building a new place. He's taking down her walls, her personal walls Uh, that she's had around her. So mm -hmm. it was a great, great, fun story to write. Mm. And there were no dead bodies and no surprise villains. So that was a change. Now, uh-huh. I would like to continue my romantic suspense series, yeah. so I, I don't want to say they're dead by any stretch. Right. I just want to I, I want to write all three, mm-hmm. if that there's can be done. something satisfying about dead bodies for some reason. I'm not sure. Yeah, is know, there's something there's something, <laughs> definitely a layer of excitement in a book that involves um, life and death. Mm-hmm. And that's what I love about romantic suspense. It's sort of the life and death of, of the characters because they're involved in a crime and of some nature and also the life and death of their heart because right, they're right. involved in falling in love. And I really yeah. have always loved loved that in romantic suspense and, mm-hmm. and fully intend to continue it. I was surprised at how difficult it is to write a contemporary because there's so much emotional depth yeah. and there's room for to explore mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. things that I haven't really had a chance to explore in the romantic suspenses and the, to really delve into what makes the hero tick and really understand how these people can make an emotional change in their lives. It was a lot of fun. I'm really, really mm-hmm. enjoying it, but it was quite different, um, mm-hmm. quite a different writing experience for well, me. What about with the YA? Was that, did you find that to be like a more complex issue or is it just different? The young adult is called Don't You Wish. It's a parallel universe story. Mm-hmm. That's, and it's, uh, it's about a girl who, um, through her dad's wacky invention, wakes up and she is no longer subpar, average, unpopular Annie Nutter. She wakes up in a parallel universe where she is absolutely gorgeous, totally rich, super popular, perfect, perfect Mm -hmm. life. And it turns out it's not such a great place to be. And she mm-hmm. figures out over time why she's there, how she's there. It's not paranormal. There's actually a scientific explanation using quantum physics. There's a great little romance in the story and a wonderful, fun lesson about, uh, you know, sort of a classic theme is the grass is not always greener and mm-hmm. be careful what I you wish that. for. Yeah. I That book was fun to write from beginning to end. Mm-hmm. It was first person. And I was in her head, and I traveled through her worlds, and it was completely, completely fun. I loved it, and I'm really looking forward to writing yeah, the next YA. Fun. Yeah, it's got So fun. is that the parallel? She wakes up, and she's rich and everything, but does she go back to the other one, too? I can't like, tell oh, you that. Oh, okay. <laughs> she has to decide if she'll go back to the other one. There's okay. a, there are a lot of ramifications. She actually takes her soul with her to the new um, to the okay. new world. She So, so she has this sort of perfect life on the outside but she has the same moral compass on the inside and in the new life her friends are wild and they are the personality that she has in this well not her personality not her soul but the person whose body she has become is a wild child who has who knows no boundaries and breaks rules and breaks Mm -hmm. laws Mm -hmm. and uh, the main character has to decide just what she will do well how high a price will she pay for a perfect life Mm -hmm. and then when she finds out 
there is possibly a way to return. Will she go mm -hmm, back to mm -hmm. being unpopular Annie Nutter with a wacko dad living in Pittsburgh, uh -huh. or will she stay super popular Ayla Monroe mm -hmm, living yeah. in a mansion in Miami Beach? You have to read it to yes, find out. You love those layers, <laughs> don't you? I, I do. Love, I love everything's a, a metaphor. And yeah, I'm you're like sure a writer's writer. I'm sure that's mm -hmm. true for a lot of writers. That's yeah. kind of how our imaginations go. Yes, 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 absolutely. Great. So, is there anything else you'd like to add? No, that? just mm -hmm. that it's great to be here. I love it. I'm having fun at the Archie convention this week cool. and and meeting a lot of new people and really excited and hoping that my my uh, core readers of romantic suspense are just as excited to try my contemporaries and young adults and maybe. Make, make find some new readers mm -hmm. and uh, bring them over too. So I'm looking forward to if it. If they watch this interview, they should be compelled. I, I mean, I it's hope really, so. I'm, I'm in already. I'm like, where can I get that? Well, <laughs> so. at the library, at mm -hmm. Amazon, at a bookstore. It's lots of places to get it. <laughs> there you go. So, well, great. Thanks for being here. And Thank you. Thank you so okay. much. Thanks. Bye.